Okay everyone, so the first thing I'll be demonstrating is how to put this cot together. So before I continue with the time lapse, I did want to show you the two long poles that fit on either end here. And these are the short poles that go on the middle of the cot. And it does come with four of these. And these do come apart and you can fold them down. So this is the way these look. And let's go ahead and let's open one of these up like that you can get a feel of what this also does look like. And this is going to go inserted in here. Just like so and then this is going to connect to this part right here it's gonna snap right into place and the other pole and it's gonna junction them together <laughs> Okay, everyone, so what I wanted to do, I didn't want to show you how the cot does look. This is what the cot looks like with all four bars and the long bars that connect it all together. This is the cot right here. Very nice, very well structured cot. So this is going to keep you at least off the ground, at least about two and a half inches. So very nice. didn't want to take too much time on this video because it is just a cot but I did want to give everyone an idea of how you can use it or how it could benefit you and I also do want to talk about the specs so let's go ahead and let's roll that okay everyone so this cot in its stuff sack comes in weighing in at two pounds one ounce okay everyone so the length on this cot is 76 inches long and the width is 28 inches it's also made out of a 100% waterproof Oxford cloth and the skeleton is 7075 aluminum. Okay, so I did want to talk about the length. Okay, the length and the width. 76 inches on the length and 28 inches on the width. Uh, it is going to accommodate somebody that's shorter, uh, somebody that's going to be 5'11", 661 might hang off their feet a little bit but it you do have to take into account that it does weigh two pounds one ounce anything longer is going to weigh anywhere from the four to five pound range and this is made to help someone that does have a back problem or does not like to sleep on the ground so there are the pros and cons there. I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, so I did want to show you a kind of different configurations that you could use this in. You could use it on a nice day just with a bug net. If you want to go the minimalistic route in camping, this would be a perfect way to use this. Okay, so this is another way that you could use your cot. You could use it with a tarp. This would work perfectly if it starts to rain or say it's a nice day and you just want to feel the breeze and there's no bugs out there. And you could also use it with the bug net and the tarp in a minimalistic fashion. Okay, everyone. So my final thoughts on this cot. It is a really nice, well-made cot. It is not the cheapest cot. It is $139.99. But if you need some back support on your back, 
or if you're the type of person that does not like to sleep on the ground, this will work wonders for you. If you are a type of minimalist that wants to go in a minimalist way, that just wants to use maybe a tarp and doesn't want to sleep on the ground, and or can't sleep on the ground for back reasons, this would be perfect, or just wants to use the cot in a bug net, this would be perfect. Uh, like I said before, this is 76 inches long and it is 28 inches wide, so it is not the largest cot, but it is going to only weigh two pounds, one ounce, so it is gonna be lighter than a larger cot. So that it does have that going for it. We'll be leaving the link to this cut in the description. I'll also have it on my Amazon store, so please go check it out over there because it does help this channel. And please everyone give this video a big old thumbs up and please share and please comment and please subscribe. And as always everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.